everybody. Welcome to the arcade stream. I'm Shannon. I'm at Shakao on the Make Code forums. I'm Joey at J Wonderl on the Make Code forums. And I'm Vivian at Live Cheerful on the Make Code forums. Cool. Um, so my idea for today is that we should make a gotcha pun game. Um, does someone want to explain what a gotcha pun is? <laughs> yeah, it's like those machines that we have in the US that I don't have a word for where you put a quarter in or two quarters in and you spin it and you get something out of it. And usually they have a sticker on the front that says everything that you could get and you have something that you want ideally, but you'll never get it. Mm -hmm. And it has the little crank. Ooh, as a stretch goal, we could make it so it connects with the crank extension. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> um, cool, okay. So my idea for what we're doing is initially is I'm going to make a machine um, and then you're going to have like a quarter, like a coin, and you'll drag it uh, or it'll be like the player. You'll move it into the slot and when you drop it into the machine, something will like come out or, you know, pop up on the screen and you'll get a random item. Um, so I think the first thing we need to decide is what is the, so these are always, they're usually themed, right? You have like a set of things. So it's like you get, you know, bouncy balls and they're all different colors or like sticky hands and they're also all different colors um but we should do things with more variety than that maybe we could do animals with jobs we animals could do with jobs? different like houses um see. one question are we gonna be like are we gonna have like a room where we put stuff in is it like a decorating a room thing or is it just collecting them Oh, interesting. I wasn't even going to keep track of the thing, <laughs> yeah. but now that you mention it, that would be a good thing to do. Um, I think to start with, it'll just be like a collection, maybe like it'll just be like a list of um, of things that you have. And then later we can talk about like arranging or something. Um, so I'm drawing the machine right now. So there's like a top part. Um, there's like a, uh, oops, all right, that's fine. Um, <laughs> there's like a bottom part with like the, the knobs and like where the quarter goes. And then the middle section shows like the stuff. Um, mm -hmm. So. I'm going to make just like a blank sort of machine like template and then we'll like fill in the middle section. So theoretically, if we wanted you to be able to like switch between different kinds of machines later, um, that will also be possible. We'll see how much we can get done in one stream. I feel like there's so much potential for this theme. Our whole stream should just be a gotcha stream and we get <laughs> we just make different themes every time. Mm -hmm. I'm so in into this. Okay, I'm just putting some circles on here um, for, you know, where... Controls. Stuff. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, just to make it look, like, machine-y. Mm -hmm. um, okay, this big one will be where your quarter goes. It's probably going to have to actually be a separate sprite. but um, And... Um, cool. And then I'm just going to do some little, like, I don't know, fake text lines. That is good fake text. I would read that text. <laughs> OK, so here's our machine. Um, I guess I should do something up here, too. Uh, just some more squiggles. Cool. Okay. And then uh, I'm actually, I'm going to copy this and I'm going to erase it from this sprite. So here's our gotcha pound machine. And then I'm going to make another one that is um, in slot of kind slot. And I don't really know how big the thing I had was so cool um, so the player is going to be um, a coin 
and the coin is going to go into the coin slot. So then I'm going to set the coin slot position to like here. <laughs> um, and we'll see how that looks. No, nope. so close. Uh, it should be like 80x and like 90y. Oh boy. <laughs> Maybe easier just to set right and bottom a little bit offset from the sprite. We um, probably want that yeah. eventually anyway. Sorry? We probably want to have it based off the sprite anyway, eventually anyway if we want more than one. Yeah, well, so for more than one, I was thinking we would just use left and right arrows to like switch. Okay. Um, oh. <laughs> uh, but it is much easier to calculate based on the left and right. So yeah, so if I set the actually right, um, to, so I'm setting the coin slot right to the gachapon right, which will align it on the far edge. Um, right. So now you see it's going to be on the far side. And then I'm also going to do the same for bottom, which will put it in this bottom corner. Um, and then I actually want it to be like in a little bit. So I'm going to do some math to make it so. So it's going to be right minus um, like 10 and bottom also minus 10 or, you know. <laughs> um, bottom minus five, right minus eight. <laughs> Perfect, close yes. enough. <laughs> um, cool. And then, um, okay, so so animals with jobs? Animals with jobs. All right, um, so I'm going to ask you to, I'm going to do a Vivian, which is yeah. you guys to draw me some animals with jobs. Um, but I think these should all be the same size. So let me very quickly just do like a test to see how big we want these to be. Um, I don't know if I've ever been on this side of this. I'm very excited. <laughs> uh -huh. This is going to be a real test because I already have a hard enough time with animals, so I won't make it. <laughs> what do you think? So 24 by 24 or like 36? Do you think it should be bigger? So this is the I like the size. orange size. So it'll, sorry, the, the whole thing is um, 24. But. Oh. That's probably fine. I mean, do they have to fill in the entire space or is it fine to be a little bit smaller for certain. It's just constrained. It might be a little bit smaller. Yeah, yeah. So okay. this is just, it'll pop up in your screen and then there'll be like some text above it that like names the thing. Oh, you also have to come up with a name for it. Oh, um, yes. Okay. So, um, so wait, uh, 24, 36? I'll give it 36. Okay, yeah. 36. Yeah, I think it's nice to have more real estate. Um, so while you guys are doing this, I'm going to, um, First, I'm going to make a label for this, um, and it's not going to be very fancy. Um, it's just going to say like what kind of machine we are. So um, I'm going to take this much. Cool. Um, so what I did just now is I copied how big I wanted it to be um, in the other sprite, and then I pasted it here. To, so uh, now I know exactly how big to make this little label thing. Um, and what I want this to be is 50. Joey, you think like the math of all possible animals and all possible jobs are too many for us to coincide on the same one, right? We don't need to coordinate, right? <laughs> so I don't want to say what mine is until it's done. Yeah. Okay. OK, cool. Also, yes. if you guys did do the same one, it would be incredible. Um, so even that would be worth it. <laughs> OK, cool. I'm assuming you guys can guess down to like two different animals what my first one's going to be anyway. <laughs> gonna so guess. that's pretty safe. Ooh, yeah. but now I want to do one in the theme of Joey. And oh. I'm that's going to be the <laughs> okay, so I'm going to do this one first. Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> I was like, I have no idea what Shannon's doing. And I looked up. Oh man. And nothing, okay. nothing useful. I could do this with a text sprite. Mm -hmm. Um, I just thought this would be like faster. <laughs> Charming. Should we put outline Shannon or no? Um, hmm. Yes. Okay. Gotcha pumping. Sounds good. Um, cool. And then I'm also going to similarly place this neck relative to the, um, oh, I need to rename this, um, um, label. Dutch pump label. Um, and this time I'm going to align it to the left. Plus. Um. And the idea is that we'll be able to swap out the labels um, and just sort of leave the bottom, the base gotcha pun thing the same. Um, it's a little premature to be talking about swapping, I will admit. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> dream big. <laughs> it's nice to plan these things so that then later you can, um, I don't know, it'll be easier later on. <laughs> Right. So let me make this a little better. Um, okay, and then a coin. Um, so I'm going to make uh, I'm going to make auction. Yeah. Shannon, how did you, you know. come up with this idea? Um, I was, I watched a TV show on Netflix where Gachapon plays a, a somewhat significant role. Oh my gosh. Um, it's the great pretender. It's like a heist show. Oh, what? There's another high show? <laughs> Richard told me about that last night, and I watched four episodes. It's pretty good. Oh, man. <laughs> so you know exactly what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> uh, which of Do them? I know what you're talking about yet? I don't know yet. He, he has the whole uh, gotcha fun thing. Guys, do you think I should do what angle coin should we be using? I'm worried this doesn't look like a coin. Maybe the diagonal one? This one? Right yes. Whoa. And then I'm going to move the coin with the buttons. Um, and then I'm going to call this function. Okay. And then um, when the coin overlaps the coin slot, you're going to have to press the A button to um, drop it in. So I'm going to have a little um, little pop up appear um, to tell you. Um, so then in a game update, I'm going to check if the uh, coin is overlapping. overlaps the coin slot, then we're going to show our label. So I'm going to also make a label. Um, and the label is just going to be like a little call out that tells you to press the A button. Okay, this is the first time I've ever been like genuinely happy with how my sprites oh my turned God. out. So oh, I'm so excited. Be ready. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't be ready enough. <laughs> oh wait, we need more than one. Oh. 
What do you mean more than one? Oh, more than one animal with jobs? We need a lot of animals. With we got to oh, fill up this we machine. <laughs> yeah, because the whole point is you have a bunch, and then some of them are rare, and some of them are not. Oh, so. my gosh. How are you going to decide which ones are going to be the rare ones, Shannon? Um, I request I that mine code. be a rare one. Sorry? <laughs> I request that mine be a rare one, because it's pretty good. Yeah, um, okay, so I have this, which... Um, a button um, of kind. And uh, I'm going to set this on top of the coin slot and then move it over um, some. So in theory, I could like click around on the screen until all of these things were placed in the right position because they're not going to be moving around a lot and our the camera never moves. Um, but doing it relative to the stuff that's already on the screen. So all of this is sort of based off of the um, gotcha pun position, like the coin slot is based off of the gotcha pun position and this is based off the coin slot position. So if I decide to later move the gotcha pun to like make room for text on top or something, then everything will move. Um, so, and then I'm going to change the button X by it is way too much. Cool. This is not a very good. All right. Um, and then if you're overlapping, I'm going to set the um, A button label to be visible. Visible. Was the size 32 cool. or 36? I forgot. Oh, oh I can check. What did you do, Joey? <laughs> 36? Uh, we had said 36. Okay, cool. 36. I just realized I could check my other picture. <laughs> And the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set it to be ghost so that it, we don't do any collisions on it because we don't need that. Um, cool. So now you see if I overlap it, it says press the A button. Um, and then if I press the A button, nothing happens because we haven't coded that yet. Um, so then um, I think I'm just going to do um, an on A button pressed. Yeah. I think that will be better than um, using an overlaps. Mm -hmm. So an on bay button pressed, if you are overlapping, same check as before, then we're going to um, get item. Is there a name for the thing that is inside the gotcha pun? Cool thing. Cool. <laughs> is it a prize? <laughs> I don't Ooh, I've never. Yeah. Get prize. Nice. Um, Cool. And then I think, um, yeah, I think I'm just going to have, maybe I will cover up the gotcha pun. Um, yeah, so I'll make a, um, I'll make a sprite that covers the entire screen. Um, and then I'll display our gotcha pun thing, and then when you press the A button, all of it will go away again. Um, cover, two spray of kind, food. This doesn't do anything, we don't care. Um, and then this is going to be an image that is the screen width and also the screen height, and then I'm going to fill it with black. So I'm going to grab the image. Cool. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to. So this is where our randomness will come in. So I'm going to start by um, random draw to a random number between zero and a hundred for now. Um, and then we're just going to have a big if statement that's going to like block out certain areas. So like. If your number is 
say less than 10, um, then you'll get something. Um, maybe the next one is 20, and the next one is like slightly more common than that, so it's going to be 40. And then the last one is extremely common. Um, and then I'm going to make um, make a thing, make a prize. Um, new variable size of kind prize. 36 by 36. And then I think I am going to add the text sprite extension so that we can also display the name of the prize. Um, so that is Microsoft. Darzu. Darzu, OK. Darzu Arcade Text. Yeah. Ooh, nice. Cool. <laughs> First try. <laughs> um, and that will display some. So let me get this layout working, and then we'll paste in some stuff. So for now, I'm just going to fill this with pink so that we can see it. Um, the extension, which is again at Darzu slash arcade dash text, uh, adds this new drawer, which lets you add text to your game. So I'm going to make a text sprite. Um, I think, yeah, perfect. Um, so name variable prize name. Cool. And I think, let me real quick test this. Oh yeah, still very big. Um, max font height to 12. <laughs> oh, what did I do? It did not like that. Oh, I'm doing a random draw. Um, <laughs> Okay, let's do this without the randomness. <laughs> oh, this is... Uh, is this already 12? Okay. I think default is 12. Maybe 8 is smaller? Yeah. 12 is pretty big. Oh, perfect. Okay. Um, so I'm going to set that, and then I'm going to center it. Um, so... I think I always want this thing in a fixed position. So after I set the text, um, so setting the text will change the size of it. So I'm going to first set the text, and then I'm going to set the X to be um, 80, which is middle of the screen. Yes. And Y to be 30, which is just above this thing. Cool. Perfect. All right. So then I need these three. Um, all right, let's go. Um, it's in the, the chat? Yeah. Okay. I've, put I've also one never in. done this, so we'll see how it goes. Sorry? I've only put one in, but another one's coming after I outline it. Okay. I'm still thinking of a good animal. <laughs> somewhat challenging to copy. <laughs> oh, you can just like double click and bring everything oh. in and Joey like. I mean, I just thing. pull out the image. So even if you get extra stuff, it should work. Perfect. Super nice. Okay. Thank you okay. Joey, for that. This change. is Joey's. I'm going to erase it. Uh, for context, oh yes. <laughs> poor guy, the door guy. Oh, so that's this uh, is incredible. Guy. OK, sorry. Tell me core guy like this. Yeah, I, I put it in chat, but yeah. Uh, well, it's 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 his name, so it doesn't have a dash in it. Yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> so he's like the guy at the hotel who's at the very bottom, and he helps you out, and he like lets you come in. He picks up your bags. He's oh so nice gosh. to you. Oh, oh, he oh, oh, he has a top hat, so maybe I don't know. He, he can be a red bowler hat or something. Red or maybe we'll change the color. I don't know. Whatever we think. Uh, maybe I should just, I know you guys are doing black backgrounds, so let me actually just make this a different color. <laughs> In the interest of animals with jobs. <laughs> oh, I could just keep pressing A. Come on. Okay, let's make 
like this. Oh man! Oh my goodness! Um, this is incredible. Um, this guy's gonna be very difficult to get. Um, okay, and then next, I think Vivian has one. Yeah, awesome. I've posted two two in the chat now. Two Maybe in my the third. Okay. It's a, it's a male male person. Oh man! <laughs> I appreciate that both of you guys um, realized that rhyming is critical too. <laughs> oh no, I don't know if my next one will rhyme. I also don't have the right word for it, so I need. I think there is a word for it, but I don't know what it is. Okay, and this is snail mail person. Maybe snail mail carrier. Because it's not a person, it's a snail. That's true. <laughs> male uh, snail. <gasps> yes. Female snail. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, and then one more from also Vivian. Yeah. Snail again. What did I do? Mm, did I copy the wrong one? Wait, the first maybe time? I pasted the wrong one. Hold on. Oh, My okay. My face is sometimes bad. Let me <laughs> try it again. Might be. Okay. Yes, it looks like the right shape. Seeing it in chat. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Guys, these are incredible. <laughs> so this is supposed to be that person at the in the fifties who used to give you like ice cream and soda. I think there's a word for it, but I don't know what it's called. Ooh, like at like a diner. They would yeah, it's like a soda soda jerk. Penguin <laughs> soda jerk. I think that's the word, right? Oh no, it's like the penguin <laughs> seems so mean. Um, no, yeah, I think you're right though. I think it is the right word. Uh -huh. Cool. Okay, perfect. So, um, let's see, How do I, I'm going to do the other end of this, which is once you have your thing, um, you will, so I think there should be a little bit of an animation before you get it to like reveal your prize. Um, and then afterwards you should be able to press A to dismiss all of it. Um, so inside get prize, I'm going to make a flag. Um, we do this often when you have like multiple screens. Um, so in prize mode, um, and when you have gotten your prize, then you are in the prize mode. Um, so that's true. And then um, if you're in prize mode, then A button does one thing. Otherwise, A button does the regular thing. So um, if you're in prize mode, then you press the A button. It's going to clear everything. So I just want to delete um, all of this, which I think should be fine. I just need to delete the prize sprite, the text, and also the food, which is our background image. So um, this is our standard deleting all sprites of one kind. Um, so I'm going to go to the loops category, grab this four element value of, and then I'm going to do array of sprites of kind food, which is the background. And maybe I should make them all food. We don't need, yeah. I don't really need it to be a prize. Well, I'll leave it for now, I guess. Um, <laughs> no harm in additional types. Um, all right, so three kinds of things. We need to destroy all of the food, all of the prizes, and all of the text. So let's try this. Cool, and we're back. Oh, and I also need to destroy the coin when you overlap. Um, so when you press the A button, where is this? Ah, yeah, so first you destroy the coin, then you get um, the coin. Um, here and then I think when you exit prize mode for now, I'm just going to make 
another coin. Um, later we can, I don't know, figure out somewhere for you to like draw coins from or something. Um, and I also don't like that the coin starts out over just in the middle of the screen. So I'm going to have it start um, just to the side, I think. Um, I would love to combine all our games into one giant game someday. Like maybe we have to do one of our other games to earn money so we can come back and buy Ooh, more. Cool. <laughs> Okay, so 50. Yeah. Fine. This is your little batch thing. Penguin soda jerk. And then you have another coin. Um, I think also when you make the coin, I'm going to do a little effect on it. So it's like a new coin. Um, the you coin. That you're spending money. Which of these is most like a sparkle? It could just be like hearts. <laughs> hearts for half a second. Hearts for hearts for longer than that. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, okay. Cool. And then right, yes, and then forget prize. Um, I want to do the um transition so hmm um so i could do this with a story extension but i think instead i'm just gonna do um i'm going to have where does the where does the thing come out of this machine <laughs> um now that i'm looking at it there may be some logistical issues <laughs> okay it should come at the bottom, right? There should be like a, should be like a slot. Like gravity. A... Don't they usually have those like plastic things and you have to like lift it up so you can reach it in and grab it or something? Ooh. Is that just regular vending machines? <laughs> um, okay, so like, what do you think? Like, I just do like a little like thing here maybe? Mm -hmm. okay. Oh, nice. Slot. Oh, I should also make this a separate sprite. Um, okay. So we did. Mm -hmm. I put in my lower quality got like prize. Uh, <laughs> but then I realized I rhymed bug with bug halfway through and I was like, okay, whatever, that works. <laughs> That's why it's lower quality. It's lower quality rhyme. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay, uh, I'm gonna do like a, like an opening here and that's where your, um, thing will come out of, um, and yeah, yeah. All right, um, so new variable of kind, gotcha. of kind. I don't really know the names of any of these components. <laughs> um, okay, and this I'm just gonna make like a little semicircle. I guess I could do like an actual semicircle. No. Yeah, that's not bad. Right. And by ten. Cool. Okay. Um, so let me just see how big this yeah, that looks great. And then I want this to be actually lined up with the bottom. So whoop, exactly the gotcha bond bottom. 
turn that over to the left a little bit. So I'm going to change the X. Don't deposit X by negative. Um, so then when you press A, something is going to come out of this slot. Um, and then I'm going to, okay, so. And, um, So I'm going to create my idea is I'm going to create a sprite here. It's going to like animate a little bit um, and then it'll have like a lifespan. And when it gets destroyed, it will call get prize, which will pop up Ooh. our screen with like the, the prize in it. Um, so. Yeah, let's try this. Um, OK. These things definitely don't all need new kinds, but that's OK. Um, so I added this animation um, block. And that will come down to where we are here. Animate Gacha Fun Sphere. And uh, I'm going to make a circle that is a different color, teal. Or I guess I should do a black. Ah, do a black outline, but I don't think it will. Cool. And then these are usually like half filled, right? Mm -hmm. The top is like clear, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I've never gotten one of these before, so I don't know. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to have it like rotate a bit, I guess. Oh, I should do this. Well, yes, and then this one, but reversed. I did something wrong. This should be, oh, wait, no, no, this is okay, right? Yeah, the top one was just tricking, tricking us. Can you, put the, <laughs> uh, can you press the play button on the top right? Might be easier to visualize that it's going right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let me make it a little bit faster. Oh. Okay, yeah, so it's just this last one. Okay, let's see this. Oh no, something is wrong. So we got one, two, three. Oh, it's the last one. It should be like rotated more, right? uh, like the top. Left oh, corner. this one. It should be like this. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, yes. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Wow. Are we missing a stage? Uh, the, no. We need a bottom diagonal one. I think maybe something got, yeah, between. A bottom diagonal one. Oh, yeah, this one needs a duplicate. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. So, wait. Between the horizontal one and then the vertical one. Oh, yes, right here. Um, so this needs to be this diagonal. Yes. But flip.
Wait, did you know armadillos came out of eggs? Is that true? Is that true? I don't what know. Are... I typed in armadillo because I wanted a picture, and the next thing was armadillo eggs. That's a type of food. That's a that's a oh. that's a like spicy type of. Uh... It's an entree. Oh. It's okay, good to know. Because armadillos are mammals. I just looked it up. <laughs> um. Okay, and then let's see. So I'm gonna make this. It's gonna animate. Um, and how many frames is this? One, two, eight because of how eights work. Um, so I'm going to set the lifespan on it. And that means it'll um, destroy itself. So lifespan. And a cool thing to do is if you hover, it'll animate itself. Um, so um let's see that's definitely wrong um and then when the sphere is destroyed we have this event that's on destroyed sprite of kind sphere so once it's destroyed we're going to call get prize so first i'm going to call animate prize so okay let's try this then Cool. Wow. OK, that's fine. It doesn't even need to come out of the slot. <laughs> <laughs> um, OK. Does it? Maybe it should come out of the slot. It might be cute coming out of the slot. Yeah. So I'm going to put it exactly. Real, hmm? The real question is, do we need gotcha fun? No. But is it awesome if we get them? Yes. <laughs> the whole spirit of the game. Hmm. OK, and then I'm going to set a slow velocity on it so that it goes up a little bit. And then hopefully it just like destroys itself before it gets to the top of the screen. So it looks like it's intentionally animating to a place. Um, <laughs> sphere, V, Y, 2. I mean, we could do a movement animation if we wanted to remember the syntax, but that's kind of tedious. It's already doing a frame animation, and I'm not sure they work they... well together. I think they do. Okay, yeah, either oh, way. God, do I die? <laughs> uh, sorry, uh, do, do they work together? Are they? I think they do. Okay. Oh my gosh. That turned out perfectly, actually, so no reason to. Like, that, anim <laughs> that movement was the right speed. <laughs> um, let me. I want it to do like a little bit of an effect. Um, so Maybe the trail? say again, Maybe just the trail effect as it's uh, going up to. Yeah, that's good. I have a question. How do you guys pay attention to what like is coding? when you're making your own art. Because right now I'm like 100% focused on my next animal. I have no <laughs> idea what Shannon's doing. <laughs> Checking in every once in a while, but there's there's something very exciting happening on my screen. Oh my gosh, the trail is good. Um, I'm very excited for your next animal too. I think usually the things that you have a straw, Vivian, are like less involved. Than... <laughs> <laughs> um, cool, okay. Um, what am I, I'm just hitting this. I guess this is a pretty big percentage. It's a 60% chance. You can um, take my trash and put it in the trash slot. Ooh. It's not going to be trash, Joey. It's pretty close. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so wait. Oh, there's many things. Vivian. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, my next one doesn't rhyme because I couldn't think <laughs> of a good word. <laughs> this one. Is trash, but it kind of rhymes, but it rhymes with itself. So I, whatever. <laughs> All right. Is it because it's selected on the bottom? Oh, yeah. nice. <coughs> Engineer. Ah. <coughs> oh my gosh. Shannon, are you okay? <gasps> so it's a litter bug, ladybug. Oh. <laughs> 
It's not a very good job, but somebody's got to do it. I think it's really good. <laughs> is this technically a job? I don't know, but it is part of our gotcha game. <laughs> And then, Vivian's. But uh, either way, no matter what it was, trash, because it contains trash in the image. That's true. <laughs> You're right. It is literally trash, but not emotionally, so. <laughs> okay. Oh, traffic giraffe! <laughs> traffic giraffe. Wait, what's is a hard word to rhyme? Traffic giraffe is great. Almost rhymes. Is this how you spell giraffe or no? I'll look it up. I think that's right. Giraffe. Yeah. You you have it right. One R, two Fs. Cool. Perfect. Um. Okay. Let's see. So core guy the door guy is five percent chance. Fifteen for male snail. Let's do another fifteen for penguin. Um. To be. Uh. What did I do? Thirty-five. And then we'll do twenty. No, we should do more than that. 30. And that leaves like another 35 ish for. Maybe I'll just also do this, guys. 15, 15. There we go. Cool. So now we have something for every slot. Get your thing. Like, lady, like. Oh, no, something happened. <laughs> oh, I forgot to set the prize mode to false when you leave. Um, so, yeah, here we go. I'm going to, uh, if we're in prize mode, then we immediately exit prize mode. Um, set in prize mode to false. Okay. Traffic giraffe. <laughs> Another giraffe. <laughs> Sound happier about the traffic giraffe, Shannon. <laughs> I just want male snails. <laughs> I love the traffic giraffe, but you know, you want to collect them all. The point is, like, duplicates are bad. Maybe you can collect <laughs> all of the traffic giraffes. Yeah. <laughs> you need a whole traffic crew for safety. <laughs> um. Okay, let me see. Let me think. So... I think we should just display the things you've gotten, maybe like in the order that you have them in, right? Mm -hmm. um, so, and I think I'm going to maybe, we have an override for menu, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, it. So I think I'm gonna do that. Um, uh, so, hmm? Yes. going to set your prizes and your prizes is just going to be uh, an array of images. Um, so I actually think I want instead of this, I'm going to make each of these an image. Oh. Um, and then at the end, I'll make the sprite and I can't do that. So I should make a new variable name, prize image. And then I'm going to do what I was doing here before, which is make a sprite for the prize um, that uses the prize image variable. Uh, what did I do? Oh, I didn't rename all of them, right? Because I didn't. Prize image, prize image, prize image, all right. Cool. Um, that all looks right, right? Poor guy, snail, penguin, giraffe, ladybug. Um, and then I'm also going to add this image to the array. So add value prize image to the end of your prizes. Um, cool. And then 
um, on menu button pressed, I'm going to do another one of these um, flags. So if um, variable menu mode. All right. Um, okay, get in menu mode. If in menu mode, and then in the end, I'm going to set it to be. Oops. Um, so basically, if you're in menu mode, we're going to do some stuff. Otherwise, if you're not in menu mode, we're going to go into the menu mode. Um, and then at the end of it, we'll like swap. So the menu button will bring you in and out. Um, and I'm going to do the same thing here, which is going to be covering the screen. Set cover to create screen height image. Um, and then for each um, for each image in your prizes. Um, I'm going to make a sprite that is also going to be of kind food um, that has this image. Uh, got prize, and then we're going to have to do some math to place them. But let me just try this for now. Let's see if it works. So, penguin. Ladybug. Okay. And then if I press the menu button, ah, right, they're all overlapping each other because I made them exactly in the middle of the screen. Um, Could probably get away with uh, just putting them in random positions <laughs> and then just say that you're just throwing them on the table. Ooh, I kind of like that, actually. Mm -hmm. um, okay, let me... Uh, and also, that works well with the amount of time we have left, which is not very much. <laughs> Um, got prize, and then I'm just going to do a quick random between, um, and I know the screen values, so I'm just going to do like, I think some of these can be slightly off screen, um, so I'll do 10, maybe 15. Um, the width of the screen, which is 160 minus 15, which is 145, and then Y is going to be 15 to 120 minus 15, which is 105. All right, let's see. Ladybug. Another ladybug. Penguin. Oh man, oh. nice. And then, cool. Yeah, so they're just sort of, you know, you, you pull out your prizes and they're on the table and you can look at them. Um, <laughs> awesome. Okay. Do you guys have, did you guys have more or are we? I think I put more, but if you want to do something else, feel free uh -huh. to ignore. Cool. I will add one more. I, there's only one more, right? That I, um, I I'm only... just pasting in another one right oh, now. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Okay. No worries. In the future, a good thing we could do is put them into like, prize tiers so instead of having like five percent of the time you get corgi Ooh. it's five percent of the time you get a rare one and then you Ooh. pick a rare one that way it's just easier than adding numbers that is a good way to do it <laughs> but too much work for five minutes left <laughs> yeah well the thing is now that i've added them this way i'm gonna have to change all the numbers to preserve our rarity um although really our, our main rarity is just that core guy should be rare, right? Could you just increase the pick random? Ooh, that's yeah, true too. Do that. That's also quite good. Um, okay, let me see if I have managed to copy this correctly. Yeah, I, I also... pasted in the right thing. Oh, armadillo? Armadillo, armadillo star strawberry farmer. Strawberry farmer. I feel like it's Two L's, and I think it should be good. I can't one D? Breathe. Only one D? One R? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Dill is a weird word. <laughs> All right. Oh, emu? 
ostrich Olympian. <laughs> it's an ice dancer. Mm. Oh, man. <laughs> Rich. Ice dancer, Olympian. Olympian. It's alliterative, at least. Yes. <laughs> okay. Oh, no, what did I do? I destroyed the ladybug. Ah, okay. Uh, Let me... That's probably fine. Oh, okay. No, I mean, we have all the images, so... Um. MPN. Okay, and then let me quickly adjust these numbers so that they are correct. So instead of going from 0 to 100, we're going to go from 0 to 150. Um, and then uh, this is between 35 and 60. So I'm actually just going to make this 30 increments. So 95, and this one's going to be 25, and then I'm going to this again to make sure 200 180 Oops. very hard to get the corgi all right cool i don't want it to be too hard oh i'm a little strawberry farmer um hmm. do these two run I'll leave this for now. We can just text. Um, <laughs> guessing it doesn't, but uh, I think that was a pretty last-minute uh, addition for the like sp game splat sort of things. Mm. I don't think it would have been carried over today. Mm. Okay, this is great. This feels good. Um, <laughs> I feel like I'm getting a good variety of things, but like not the rarest ones yet. Um, you can always <laughs> add more later. <laughs> Ladybug yet, though. I guess that's how random numbers work. Uh -huh. Did I do the max as? Yeah, 200. So we should have like a incredibly high percent. Oh, that was it. Hmm? I thought we got it. Oh, yeah. Oh. OK, cool. All uh, right. Throw them all on the table. Oh. <laughs> Cool. Well, thank you guys all for joining us. Um, oh, did we have a name for this? Gotcha. Game something. Animals with jobs. <laughs> gotcha um. jobs? <laughs> cool. Um, well, thank you guys so much for joining us. Uh, I'm Shannon at Chacau on the Make Code Forums. I'm Joey at Jay Wonderwall on the Make Code Forums. I'm Vivian at LiveTrip on the Make Good Forms.